Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Now at the end of the last episode I asked you guys for your best grass puns. Uh, so here are the ones that made the cut uh, and, tr and try not to moan uh, because I I'm sure some of you can't wait to see mower and I hope some of you will start to grasp the idea that I spent a lot of time weeding through the comments to find the mostly most mo no to find the mostly best puns. <laughs> And although I worked my grass off of this, I really don't want to start a turf war. And I hope that most of you will be lawning at my puns. No, I'm going to cut it short. <laughs> too many, too many puns. Far too many brass guns. Wait, what? But enough of that, it's time to get into the game. And now we've got a slot for another mower. We're going to go to the bank and we're going to apply for a loan. And we're going to get a £10,000 loan. Except, All right now we're gonna head to the shop. Oh, I'm balls! I've just realised we gotta wait one more day. <laughs> we gotta wait one more day, and then we get a new bay for our new lawnmowers. Fair enough. Let's go mow this area. It should be pretty quick. It's a small area, and it's flat with high fines. Sounds easy. Height six to seven centimeters. Let's get involved. And very, very exciting today. I've actually got a controller in my hands. Oh wow! This is different. This is different. Oh, well, this is what we're mowing today. Blimey! This is a Big old streets. Look how far away those houses are. This is decent, this. Miles away from neighbours. Right, let's pick up everything. So we've got some rocks, a nudie mag, some more rocks. Oh, look, and there's a back lawn as well. A back lawn, a back garden. <laughs> what the hell? What is that? Is it like a skittle? Like a bowling pin skittle? Or is it just a bottle? It's just a bottle. Cool. Oh, hang on, what's this? Return valuable to owner. They left their key card out. I wonder if we get anything for doing that. Don't know. Anyway, let's get on the black beauty. And we're going to use our controller. I'm excited. All right, so with this, we can finally drive slowly. Look how slowly I'm driving. The wheels aren't even spinning around. <laughs> right, lower that. Blades on. And we are off using our controller. Yeah, so I did I did speak about getting a steering wheel set up. But it seemed, <laughs> it seemed a bit extreme. So I did the next best thing. I invested in a controller for my PC, which... It's been quite a few years since I've used a controller, so this could be a bit ropey. But I actually went all out. I got the Xbox Elite controller, and my god, is it absolutely incredible. Like, don't get me wrong, that's far too much money to be spending on a controller, really. Especially, <laughs> especially as I'm mainly going to be using it to mow lawns. But uh, it is, like, one of the most beautiful products I've ever purchased, I think. <laughs> it comes in this, like, carry case. But uh, you can you can plug the case in and it charges the controller. I don't know. This might, this might all be like pretty obvious to most people, like standard technology. But uh, for me, blown away. And my God, is it comfy and nice feeling in my hands. I am loving it. Uh, but the main the main reason I decided to go go get a controller rather than just stick with the keyboard is I've heard. I don't know if you've been following Dre's series on this, but when you start upgrading your mowers to like the faster ones, uh, you, sort, you sort of start struggling with the speed. They're really quick, so you sort of need the adjustment of throttle, uh, just so you can actually go a little bit slower and actually cut the grass. Um, and, but, and when I say throttle, I don't mean this throttle down here. I mean like the accelerator pedal. So basically on this like W or right trigger as I'm now using controls the like accelerator pedal. Generally your right foot on most mows in real life. You keep your throttle up the whole time. Like throttle is currently at 3000 RPM. Now that doesn't ever change. It's just how much force you put on the accelerator pedal. All right, so I'm just going to do like a little diagonal of these tufty bits I missed. This could actually be more satisfying with a controller. I don't know why. It's just really easy to like turn around and not scuff because you can like slow down a bit. Go nice and slow. Yeah, liking this. Liking this a lot. All right, so blades up. Head across. Blades back down and on. Lovely. Yeah, I, al I almost didn't record this today. So outside there's someone mowing their lawn. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's going to be really annoying for the recording. I was like, I can't record today. I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow or when he's finished, however long that will be. Yeah, and, that <laughs> and then I realized... You're playing a mowing game, Matt. The, the, the game noise is mowing. All right, two lawns down, two to go. We'll just head over to this one over here. Oh, that's why it's a big road. It's like, it's a two-way road. I didn't realize. All right, blades on. Keep that wheel just overlapping. Yes, that's just how we like it. And the best thing, we can go slightly slower when our engine starts struggling with the long grass. I didn't really have that option with the keyboard. So that should make things a lot easier, actually. There it was struggling, so I'll just go a little bit slower. And then speed up. Now we're through the thick bit. 
Alright, and this is our final stripe done. Sort of, but I did miss a bit of a stripe there. Alright, blades up. So I imagine this cobbled sort of paving, that will ruin our blades. A treat. Oh look, they got a trampoline next door. Cool. Alright, honestly, I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't do this lawn with the new mower I'm about to buy. So I'm about to buy the one with the striping kit. I think this lawn with its perfectly square edges, nice degree corners, would have been perfect to do some stripes. But uh, maybe, maybe there'll be another garden similar to this. Alright, final stripe now. And we're doing the action shot. Look how excited Lorne is by this. We've completed the level, but we're still mowing. We're still mowing. Nice. Blades up. Good work, Lorne. We'll just head back to our trailer. Oh, 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 sorry. Every time. That happens every time. And we will we will reverse up this time. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling in a good mood. I know I'm about to get a stripey lawn mower. Right, it's a nice, easy little job there. But yeah, another 467 quid means we're up to 13,000 pounds. Uh, and here is a monumentous day where our HQ has been upgraded. So first things first, we'll head to the shop and we can buy a new mower. And this is the one we are going for. The Skag with 132 centimeter deck size. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Uh, loads of other cool stuff. So we'll buy that. And then we'll go in here and we can buy the Tiger Stripe kit. Yes, please. Uh, and the mulch plate. So if you can see that black thing on the side, I think as we mow with this one, it's going to leave like a line of grass. Whereas if we do that, so now you can see the black bit on the side is now closed. And as I said before, that just allows the grass to like go back into the ground. And it sort of fertilizes it a bit. Meanwhile, the Tiger Stripe kit, we will attach. All right, so now we've got two mowers. We've got two employees which means we can do two contracts. I'm first going to do some advertising, and I'm pretty sure this just gives us more RP, which allows us to take a bigger loan sooner in the future. So we're going to do some good old-fashioned printed media. Now that lasts 20 days. Or well, can we do all of them? Maybe we can do all of them. I'm not going to rinse all my money. I do actually want some more. Oh, sod it. I'm going to do all the money. We're doing all of them. All right, so we've got these two contracts right next to each other, both at the Orchard Cottage. Now this one we get nearly 500 quid, so I think we'll send... Our man, Elliot Ross, the apprentice, I believe in you, and you're going to take the black beauty. You're going to... I'm trusting you with our most valuable property of the whole company. So do us proud, Elliot. Do us proud. Meanwhile, the actual orchard of the orchard cottage gets us 1,300 quid. Yeah, and who doesn't want a stripey orchard? So we're going to take this one ourselves, Mr. Lawn Barber, and we're on the Skag Patriot. All right, so cutting height is six to seven centimeters, so we'll aim for seven. Uh, the current grass is pretty bloody long, 21 centimeters to 35 centimeters. That's longer than a ruler. Well, longer than a 30 centimeter ruler. <laughs> but here we are in the orchard. Whoa, that grass looks long. It's proper waving. I don't know if I'm tripping balls or if it's just a pretty windy day. Is it raining? It's actually raining. Oh dear. So people that haven't been a professional grass mower or maybe have no grass mowing experience at all. Oh, look, a jeep. Uh, you shouldn't ever mow in the rain. It just sticks to everything. You get lumps of grass everywhere. It's not very nice. I'm going to nab an apple. Nom. Yeah, it's just one of the perks of this of this job. Oh, what is that? All right, we have a dark stick. We have some loppers. Some more loppers. To be fair, I guess we are in an orchard. There's probably lots of lopping that needs to go on. Is that more loppers? There can't be more loppers. Or are they secateurs? I think they're too big to be secateurs. I think there's more loppers. Three pairs of loppers. <laughs> yeah, some rocks and another very dark stick. And annoyingly, I'm not sure where the last object is. Here it is, a can. <laughs> yes, we're litter picking now. Oh, I like this plot though. There's a proper nice view of like... Well, it would be nice on a nice day. It's, it's a bit... It's a bit grim today a bit drizzly oh so so wonder how elliot's getting on can we see him in there hmm just can't see him anyway let's let's get involved a brand new mower on a brand new lawn i am excited to say the least start the old engine look how clean it is right down the trailer right so this mower i don't know if you can see like my handles i'm pushing both of them forwards both of them backwards the best thing about these ones you can literally turn on the spot so we can literally do like dancing so a very very useful for mowing patterns into the grass oh but anyway so our cut height 12.7 that's really really high can we get this down so i think we're aiming for a seven so we'll, we'll go for that we'll turn the blades on holy crap this is fast i'm like as light on the trigger as possible <laughs> yeah but we're going to mow this realistically so oh god oh god <laughs> oh man this is hard it's so sensitive all right, easy on the trigger, easy on the trigger, easy on the analog stick as well. <laughs> oh, I'm smashing it up against the wall. All right, so I'm going to do this edge. 
a nice... Oh, God. We can do a nice little strip to turn around in. And we'll do this little chumpy bit as well. I'm going to do I'm gonna do one more stripe just so I've got enough room to turn around because I thought that hedge might just poke out and obstruct me a bit. You've really got to watch the old engine. This is so quick. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but right, time to do our first stripe. So let's drop the roller. Now we'll just keep her as straight as we can. Oh god, I keep hitting the wall, but <laughs> nothing I can do about it. Well, there is. Become a better driver. Right, hopefully when we start going the other direction, we'll get, we'll get something going on. But I'm just going to do a turning area down here. So a few stripes, just widthways. All right, there we go. Now we'll line up with the next stripe. We'll lower our thing again. And now we've just got to keep it as straight as possible. Hopefully we'll get some stripes down. All right, lift her up, turn around. I've just noticed this as well. I think I'm overlapping way too much. So I'm sort of going off the front wheel, if you can see. But uh, look how wide my actual deck is. <laughs> oh, this game. This game. <laughs> yeah, I think I can actually afford to do much, much wider stripes. So I will be doing that from now on. Yeah, but if we just turn around... Oh, look at the stripe. It is straight. Ah! So I'm trying to go as fast as I can without overloading. And it's quite difficult. I probably should have done the lawn at a higher height without the roller and then come back. So maybe I could have caned it at full speed. Maybe we'll try that for the second half and we can compare. But we're doing much wider stripes now. So I think we have to go a little bit slower because we're technically cutting more grass. So it's a bit more strenuous. All right, so I'm going to go around these trees. But I am going to lift my roller. So hopefully it won't matter too much how wide we go. All right, roller back down and then we'll carry on. Roller up around the tree. Roll her back down, roll her up, around the tree. Do you see a pattern? So there we go. I think we've got like six stripes that you can, you can barely you can barely see. Now I'm going to try a new technique of raise the cutting height, 12 and a half centimeters. And we're going to start this one down the other end just as a bit of a tester. So I'm going to see, can we mow at like more like top speed? It looks like we might be able to. Warning, you're cutting at the wrong height. Yep, but I don't care. Oh, that's quite a hefty bush that's what she said so perhaps this is the better way of doing it just absolutely blast it but then do it twice so my progress bar isn't going up at all sadly yeah, but look how fast we go <laughs> so i guess we are moving fast we're going fast on that blue car all right so let's see how fast can we actually do stripes now so if we lower the cut height to seven as it was before lower the blades lower the roller can we go full speed Ooh, yes, this is better. This is better. And this is where it gets dangerous, trying to do a straight line at full speed. Oh, but this is good. This is really good. I am absolutely creaming it. Power! <laughs> Look how fast we're doing stripes. Didn't even touch the controller then. Full speed. Oh, God. That's the downside. Keeping it straighter is a lot more difficult. Oh, but look at those stripes. Okay, I think we're going to do it that way because that is so much quicker. So raise the cut height and just mow. Unfortunately, still struggling even on the highest setting. I'd love to just full speed it in every direction possible, but maybe that's not going to happen. There we go. We're back on straight lines again. Lovely. This feels like I'm watching a time lapse, but it's actually real gameplay. <laughs> It's so fast. I'm going to have to slow down because I do need to actually cut this grass though in order for my stripes to be super efficient. Tiny bit worried all of this straining my engine malarkey is going to hurt my new mower. I can see engine condition. We have lost quite a bit considering it's our first ever job with this particular mower. It's sort of dawning on me as well that I'm not making any progress until I start doing the stripes. And I'm already 20 minutes in. Oh god. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> right, let's just contour this. It'll be quicker. All right, I'm getting annoyed now. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed now. <laughs> oh, future Matt, you better appreciate the work I'm doing. Because it is going to be satisfying for future me to do the fast stripes. But whether it's worth all this carnage, I don't know. I'm getting very annoyed that I can't go full speed. I just want to go power and I can't. Ugh. Stop struggling, mower. <laughs> We're going to do a bit of first person for a while, just because I'm bored and annoyed. But you can really see, like, how your handles work. I've never actually ridden a mower like this in real life, with handles like that. They've always been, like, steering wheel and foot pedals. But generally, actually, just one foot pedal. They're actually really cool, like, how mower pedals work. So usually it's just your right foot 
And it's like sort of a two-way pedal. So you have your toe on a pedal and your heel on a pedal. So you, so you lean your foot forwards and like press down with your toes if you want to go forward in the motor. And if you want to go backwards, you just press with your heel down and lift your toes up. And then if you if you sort of don't press the pedal at all, so it sort of just rests in the middle, uh, that's just brake. So you won't go anywhere until you press the pedal either forwards or backwards. So really cool system. It makes you wonder like why cars make you use like both your feet. And I'm guessing it's probably just a safety thing. It's probably not as easy to... Uh, rock a pedal backwards in an emergency compared to just using your foot to slam on it. But there's about as much life left to me as there is in Lorne himself. Like, I understand why this guy has this look now. <laughs> I call it the lawnmower stare. It's just like my soul is being torn out of my body. It's all right for you, Lorne. You only have to mow it once and then you're done. I have to bloody edit this. Yep, I just have to stare at your face for hours and hours. Well, actually, it's usually the back of your head. But for now, your face whilst I edit. I'm trying to turn the most boring, <laughs> tedious gameplay into entertainment. Thankfully, there's always green screen effects. And of course, the Wilhelm scream to make every clip as funny as possible. All right, so then, here we are, back at our stripes. We should be able to cane it through this, although the bits with the trees are a little bit awkward, but hopefully we can just full speed it sort of all the way around. Uh, and I've just noticed cutting at the wrong height, so let's go. <laughs> Damn it. I'm glad I noticed now. I'm glad I noticed now. So we'll go back. <laughs> we'll lower our cutting blades down to seven. There we go. And now we'll cut again at full speed. Oops. <laughs> Into the tree. And I'm hoping just one stripe will be a nightmare like this one. Because we should be wide enough to do the rest without clipping the tree. But we'll, we'll have to see. Damn it. Okay, that wasn't the best stripe. That really was not the best stripe. But um, hopefully this one, we can not clip any trees. Nice. I have to go around that tree slightly. Let's slow down. Slow down. I literally, I can't see a bloody thing through these trees. Yeah, but there we go. Not bad. And now we're back on fast stripes. And they are fast stripes. Yes, our engine isn't failing. I'm so happy. All right, so we're on 32 minutes. How fast can we do the rest of the lawn? We can turn around so quickly, and the best thing is it doesn't destroy the lawn at all. I'm quite intrigued to see how much RP we're going to get after this, because we got three advertising things out, and I'm pretty sure they'll just stack up. And as we know, the more RP we get, the quicker we'll level up, which means we can get another loan. All right, now a fiddly bit. Bloody trees again. I'll tell you what, I might go first person for this. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so hard to steer I don't think they're going to be the straightest stripes after these are. I'm stuck on a tree. All right, back to third person. I'm literally just caning this as fast as we can and hoping the stripes end up neat. I'm sure they will. I believe in myself and the work of Mr. Lawn Barber. And Kiss My Grass hasn't had any negative feedback yet. It's all been positive reviews. Requests for rework. Oh, look at the stripes now. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm back into this again. Look at them. They're striping. Yeah, this, this direction, not as good. Quite hard to see, in fact. But I go in the other direction, love it. And to do stripes in real life, it's all about sort of picking a spot. So you sort of, you either look down, you sort of make sure your overlap never changes. But with that, you're likely to make a couple of mistakes. So generally, you want to pick something ahead of you, like like a fence post, and you just go straight for it. All right, so I'm looking like just right of that pillar on the wall. And when I get there, because I know the grass is perpendicular, I want to be as perpendicular as possible. Like that. Yeah, now going the other way. Stripe is looking good. Uh, field gets a little bit lumpy here. And lumps do have a tendency to ruin your stripes. Alright, now we've got a painful one. Because we've got to go round again. I'm not going to do it first person. I kept getting stuck on the trees. Alright, here we are then. Stripe it up. Oh, just had to go around the tree there. Oh, it is good. Look how straight they are. But I'm literally in love with how quick we are doing this. I just full speed it so far. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Now I can see the stripes this way as well. That's cool. Oh, look at the stripes, man. Look at them. They're stripey. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this game now. I've been playing this level for 40 minutes. <laughs> but I'm loving it. If I had it my way, I'd get my apprentice in here, Elliot. I'd make him do all the awkward high stuff. And then I'd come back, the pro, and I'd get all the stripes done. And then I'd get all the credit, all the glory. And that's what we live for at Kiss My Grass. It's all about the glory. It's not about the money. It's not about the profit. It's about the glory. Oh, look at this, though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, no, we've made the fatal mistake. So we're sort of... You remember at the start, we did the top side and then we did the bottom edge as well. 
Now there's a reason you always work from one end, because now, can you see our stripes? They don't line up. So we're going to have to re-stripe all of this. And yes, I am actually going to re-stripe it, because I want this to be perfect. <laughs> oh no, and we're not even finished. Alright, let's lift the roller up. We might have to go, might have to get right close to the edge. You can see there's, some, there's a load of tufts that I missed at the start, when I wasn't quite used to the controls. I don't know how much we're meant to do, but I always drive back on your stripes if you need to go over them again. It just saves them getting messed up. I think we're going to have to just go around the trees a bit better. I did sort of rush it at the end when I was doing my stripes. All right, there's a tuft here. It's quite a big tuft. Is this enough to complete the level? No, 99.7. 99.8. Oh, man, how much do we have to do? Isn't there a button? Hang on. If we hold the right stick, we can see the tufts. Oh, look, there's some up there so around this tree. Oh, look, there's a whole stripe here. We're completed. All right, blades up. Wait, is there a blades up? Oh, there isn't a blades up. We'll just raise. Oh, look, he uses his foot. We'll raise that. And to drive back, we'll go We'll go along our stripe. Because we don't want to push the grass in any other direction. We just want to keep, we want to stay on the white stripe because they're the ones going away from us. I'm sorry, just look at those stripes. They paid 1,300 quid for me to mow this. And I'm pretty sure they got a good deal. Look at the stripes. Oh, there's a top. I missed a massive top. <laughs> Oh, that is the camera angle. Oh, that's not the best one. But yep, pretty pleased with myself there. A collision's 24 quid. That was me tapping the trees. It's good to know that they value apple trees a lot higher than hypercars. But uh, that's, that's a bit pricey. Anyway, let's see how our apprentice Elliot got on. Now again, 24 quid's worth of collisions. <laughs> oh dear, Elliot. We might have to give you a lesson or two. Uh, but he made 370 quid. Not bad at all. And look, all of our advertising campaigns got us a lot of RP. So I imagine we're going to level up quite a bit. And it's the end of another week. We made a weekly profit. Uh, very nice. Very nice indeed. And we're now credible rank four. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you are enjoying this series, do not forget to boost that like button. Let me know. Show your support for Lorne and Elliot. Uh, but otherwise, from the three of us, peace, love and bridges. Bye, guys.